Hello everyone, it's your girl Natural Housewife Phoebe, and today I'm here to talk to you about quite a few things. One is hair porosity. Two, I would like to talk to you about what's going to change up because in my regimen because I found out what porosity hair I am. And three, Sally's has a sale going on right now. And for my girls back home, I know, like I said, I'm from Maryland and we have a beauty supply store. We don't really do Sally's, but I'm going to get into all of that towards the end of the video. So let's step right into it. Um, like I said, first up is hair porosity. So do y'all see how my hair is like kind of one-sided? <laughs> I promise you all week long, I've had this style. And when it's time to film, this is what happens. But anyway, that's a part of the natural hair journey, right? Some days it's for you and some days it just seems like it's against you. But it's all good. I'm still cute though. Hey y'all. No, I'm just kidding. So back to hair porosity. Hair porosity is your hair's ability to or inability to retain moisture. So there are three levels to porosity hair. You have your low porosity, medium porosity, and high porosity hair. If you have high porosity, your cuticles are open and your strand is pretty much vulnerable to anything. So you don't have a problem getting the moisture to your strands. What you have an issue with is retaining that moisture um, that comes into your strands and into your cuticles or what have you and so you want to do things to bring that cuticle closer together to each other so that you can retain moisture so you want to do things like an apple cider vinegar rinse um, you also want to use cold water or cool water um, depending on what works for your hair some high porosity girls can still get away with um, lukewarm water but I know once you get into the warmer elements, that is to open your cuticles. And if you're a high porosity girl, your cuticles are already open. So you really don't want to do that. But again, it's all about what works for your hair. Also, you want to know the acidity level of the products that you are using. There is a YouTube girl on here who I know some of you may be familiar with the lock method. Um, she also, within her lock method, uses aloe vera juice or, yeah, aloe vera juice to, um, as a part of her moisturizing regimen. And so, what the lock method is, for those of you who do not know, is liquid, oil, and cream. You can do liquid cream oil, you can do, um liquid whatever other moisturizing product you use oil cream or you can switch it up how you want but you definitely have to use liquid first um but this particular youtuber um does liquid aloe vera juice and i think it's cream and then oil it may be oil and then cream but i will put her name in the description box um so make sure you check that out and so she says that the acidity level in the aloe vera juice um, is 5.5, which also helps to close your cuticle. So again, if you're high porosity, you want things that will help close your cuticle, okay? And what else? Let me look at my little notes over here. I ain't even going to fake. I got notes. Okay, so... Um, and you also want to take advantage of protein treatments, whether that is a homemade treatment, whether that is something you go to the salon and get, or whether it's something you buy off the shelf, you want to make sure that you use a protein treatment. And what the protein treatment is going to do is, when you have high porosity hair, typically that means that you have some damage to it, which means some cuticles could be missing. And so what that protein treatment does is, 
what the protein treatment does is help layer those missing cuticles. So if this layer was missing, the protein treatment will lay on top of your strand to help um, fill in the gap. And so you definitely want to do that. However, if you decide that you are going to use a do a protein treatment, then you need to make sure you moisturize, moisturize. And also do your research because there are three different types of protein treatments to use and you have to use the one that is best for your hair. So you have to research and um, this is all about knowing your porosity level and then also digging past that. So if you do your research and you find out that you are high porosity, then go further and find out, you know, what type of protein treatment is going to be best for your hair. If you have medium porosity hair, then your cuticle is neither open nor closed. It is open enough for you to get that moisture in and for your hair to retain that moisture, okay? So, I mean, just keep up a healthy hair regimen because your hair is going to take that moisture. It's going to, you know, love that moisture and you're not really going to have to keep moisturizing your hair and making sure your cuticles are doing whatever they need to do. So, you know, I don't really have much information on medium porosity hair. Usually if you are on a hair porosity um, research trip, then that means you don't have medium porosity hair. It means your hair is doing something. It's not getting enough moisture. It's getting moisture, but it's not retaining it. And so you're digging deeper to find out, you know, exactly what type of hair you have. And so if you have low porosity hair, that means that your cuticles are shut. It moisturizing products and water have a hard time getting to your strand and moisturizing that strand so you want to make sure that you are doing everything you can to help lift those cuticles things that will help lift your cuticles are warm to lukewarm to warm water i prefer not to use scalding hot water because scalding hot will strip your hair um, so you want to be careful with that. I know when you're washing your hair in the shower and some people use hot water when they're washing up and stuff like that. Um, but when it comes to your hair, it's a very different ball game. So please, please, please be careful. But again, whatever works for your hair works for your hair. So do not take my word as golden. Just try it and see if it helps you in your regimen. And so, um, low porosity hair, you do not want anything that has a high acidity um, in it. So, read your ingredients when you are looking for new products or the products that you already have. If you don't know what's in them and you're kind of like researching to make sure you have all the right things, make sure they do not have anything that's going to... Um, shut your cuticle even more even though i don't know if that's possible because if you have low porosity hair then your strands or your cuticles are already shut very tightly so when it comes to not just using your shampoo and washing it out and things of that nature when it comes to your deep condition if you are low porosity you want to make sure you are using a heating element whether that is wrapping your hair up in pla in a plastic shower cap or I like to use a plastic bag. It's just easier for me. Um, and then putting a heated towel over your plastic bag then or your plastic cap. Do those things because that's what's going to help open up the cuticle and for that moisture to get in and help retain that moisture because your hair or your cuticles are going to shut back up. So once it shuts back up, you want to make sure you've gotten all the moisture your hair absolutely needs to um, thrive and survive throughout the week as you um, are doing your hair, your weekly hair regimen. So you don't have to continue adding a bunch of oils and butters and creams and whatever else you may use. You just want to make sure that that cuticle is being lifted. 
So keep that in mind when you are doing your hair. So please, please, please do the research and finding out what type of hair porosity you have because it is imperative to the state of your hair, um, the healthiness of it. And you can't have healthy hair if you don't know what your hair is doing. So the porosity test, what a lot of naturals do is once they've washed and conditioned their hair and they're detangling their hair and they take a strand from their detangling tool and they place it in a cup of room temperature water. If your hair sinks to the bottom, it is because you have high porosity hair and that water has come in and gotten in your hair and weighted down to the bottom of the glass. So. If you've done the hair test or if you want to do the hair test and your hair sank to the bottom, you typically have high porosity hair. If your hair kind of floated in the middle of that glass, then you have a medium porosity hair. You have pretty good hair. It gets moisture in, but it doesn't sink it. So it kind of it also has a shield. So moisture is getting in there and it's retaining and it can float right in between um, the glass. If you have low porosity hair and that moisture is not getting in, water can't get in to sink it at all. So that means no water, um, no water or no kind of moisturizing product is getting in and it is floating on top of the water. So you can do the hair porosity test. I personally um, didn't really have consistency too much in my testing and I really equate that to me having two different types of porosity hair which some naturals do and the longer your hair gets the more you will learn about your porosity of hair and how it may change over time and if you use like I grew up in the 80s slash 90s and relaxing hair was the thing to do coloring your hair was the thing to do so especially during that time if you were doing a lot with your hair, bleaching your hair, stuff like that, then your hair, you probably have a higher porosity hair. You probably have quite a bit of damage, especially if you are on a journey and you're new to the natural hair journey. So just do your research and also do what works for your hair. You're going to see a lot of videos, including mine. Y'all better watch, okay? <laughs> So, you know, it's going to be a lot of videos out there, a lot of us telling you what works for us. Do not take all of that to heart and use our regimens and products that have worked for mm -hmm. us. Do your own um, research and find out what your hair porosity is, what your curl pattern is, all of those kinds of things, and find the products that work best for you. So... For me, I have learned that I am low in high porosity. And so what that now means for my regimen is that I'm going to change it up a little bit. I am going to stick to pre-pooing, which um, I did in my last video, and it was my first time doing it. And some of the research I got was that you could wet your hair and then put your oils in there, work it in, let it sit for 15, 20 minutes, and then... Um, shampoo your hair as you would on a regular wash day so the only thing i'm going to change about that is instead of dampening my hair and then dampening i don't know if that's a word whatever so instead of wetting my hair prior to the oil what i'm going to do is i'm going to take um some conditioner not my deep condition but some conditioner um my Jamaican black castor oil and um, water and I'm going to mix it all together and I think I'm also going to do a couple of drops of um, like almond oil or something like that but something with a nice scent to it so that I can um, have y'all know I love stuff that smells good so I'm just going to put it in there just because I want it to smell good while I'm doing my pre poo and I'm going to get another water bottle that is um 
going to be dedicated to my pre poos and that's what I'm going to do my mix in. Also, what's going to change up in my regimen is when I get to the deep condition part, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my deep condition, I'm going to add um, a small dollop of mayo and also my Jamaican black castor oil um, because I'm adding the oil back in there because whatever is going to wash out when, after I do my shampoo, then I want to be able to put it back in there. So I'm going to do all that, mix it together. I'm going to pop it in the microwave and then I'm going to add it to my hair. And during that time, I'm going to allow my hair to pretty much air dry during that time or I'm going to um, shirt dry it. I hope everyone who is going natural, remember, we're not using towels and, um, you know, combs to me you can still use a comb but use a wide tooth comb do not use those little um regular combs i don't know what they're called but don't use those um and if you're going to use a comb use a wide tooth comb and start from the bottom and then go to your roots if you look at my last video for the most part that is what i did um I'm still new to doing um, some of these things. And so you may see me start at root and then go um, to the end of my strands. However, if you notice, when I went from, I chose to go from my root down towards the end of my video after I believe I rinsed out my conditioner because I wanted to see just how well uh, my hair had detangled because I had finger detangled it and my slippage was amazing. So, you know, you may see me doing that from time to time. And to me, it's not that big of a deal. So, some will say, never, ever go from the root to the bottom. But depending on what you want to do, it's your hair. I don't suggest you do that every day, all day. I don't even suggest that you comb your hair all the time like every single day or anything like that but during the time when you're detangling you do i don't know if y'all hear my dog he is snoring and it's bothering me anyway sorry about that um but when you're doing your detangling then um you know do what you feel you need to do to see what your hair is doing so um, those are the my deep condition process as far as my deep conditioner is what's going to change for me and how I mix up my shampoo um, concoction or my pre poo concoction is what's going to change up for me. I am also going to purchase a bonnet dryer. I'm not sure when because I feel like I've been doing great without it. However, I am going to purchase one sometime in the near future. And when I do, I will be sure to let you guys know and I will do a full review of that product when I do purchase it for you guys. Um, the last thing I said I wanted to talk about was Sally's is having a sale, y'all. So, you want to make sure that you go in there and for my girls back home, I know, like I said, we're used to the beauty supply store. And for those of you who don't know in the DMV area, it's one on like every corner. We don't really do Sally's, but I've moved to North Carolina and I can't find one. Okay. It's no place like home when it comes to that. However, I said, forget it. Let me go into the Sally's and I did. And this Sally's that's around the corner from my house has been great to me thus far. So, with that being said, they are having a great sale, a sale I feel like a lot of the beauty supply stores do not do back home. Um, so, some of their, on certain product uh, lines, they're having a buy two, get one free. They're also having a Shea Moisture um, professional line sale or combo, I wouldn't say a sale, you get a free cape and a comb. That's up to you if you're pressed to get all of that. But what I do know is I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna browse around, see what I can find. Another thing I like about Sally's is you have 30 days to return your, to return your product if 
it didn't work for you or you changed your mind or what have you. So that is another thing I like about Sally's because beauty supply stores, it was like all sales are final. They didn't really do exchanges, store credit or, you know, um, any take backs. So, you know, for my girls back home, check out your local Sally's, see what they have. You may be surprised. Um, also, I talked about the protein treatments. I'm going to try one myself, and I really want to try this um, smooth protein thermal protection. I don't know if that is a um, protein treatment because it says thermal protection or if that's something you do when you know you're going to use heat to style your hair. I'm not really sure, but... If someone can let me know about that specific product, please put it in the comment section. Let me know how you like it. I've only seen one review on it, and, I, and it was a while ago, and I can't really remember, um, you know, what the deal was if it was if she was going to style her hair with heat or if that was used as a protein treatment. So those are the three things I wanted to talk to you guys about today. If you have any questions for me, comment below letting me know and I will answer them. Um, please feel free to hit me up on social media. I am at Natural Housewife on Instagram. Um, and on Twitter, I am at NR... No, sorry. I am... N-A-T-R-L housewife because natural housewife was too long. So I am on Twitter. I am at N-A-T-R-L housewife. There is no underscore or anything like that. You can hit me up there. I am on Facebook. I am in the middle of putting together a um, natural housewife Facebook page as opposed to making a whole nother um facebook account i'm just going to do a page and i will have a lot of information on that page um a lot of my weekly styles that i do will be on that page so on facebook i am fevia scott so you know put that in try to find me there and just shout me out and let's get this natural hair thing going because honey i need all the 411 i can get Especially now that I have um, put myself all into this journey. I am just looking forward to the abundance of information that I can find out there. And I cannot do it without you guys. So I look forward to speaking with you in the next video. Oh, one more thing. My husband has agreed to take me or go with me, I should say, to a natural hair event in Hampton. And I'm so excited because they do have things for men there. And I'm excited to see how he takes on to that. And I'm not sure what to expect from that. But I'm looking forward to it. And um, I will put the link to that event in my description box. Because I cannot remember if it's called Back to Curls or Curl to Curl. I'm not really sure. But it will be in Hampton, Virginia at the convention center so i will put that link in the description box mm -hmm. and i will be doing some filming and hopefully be getting some interviews with other naturals about their journey and how they have enjoyed their journey thus far so i look forward to speaking to you guys in the next video and don't be afraid to contact me on social media all of that information will be in the description box talk to you next time bye